Hey, hey, ho, ho, ha, ha, all right, everybody, how's it going? Now then, uh, this video I'm doing by here is about uh, looking at an uh, uh, electric motor, a big electric motor, because uh, I'm doing a, pr a project, a long sort of project, on a Yamaha FZ600 motorbike where chuck the uh, petrol engine in the bin and uh, I'm going to plonk in an electric motor. It's a long project, I'm not rushing to do it. Um, and I would, I've been looking around, looking for a motor that's a de decent price to go in it, electric motor, decent price, and quite beefy, you know, a, a good strong motor. And uh, yesterday, or the day before, I came across this nice big motor on AliExpress. You know, AliExpress, my favorite place to shop. <laughs> and um, it's quite expensive, but it's the QS180 motor, and it does say new by it, so it's it hasn't been out for that, that long. Um, so I was trying to find some videos of other people who've had it, but it seems it's, it's, it's so new that there's not many out there at the moment. So, um, I want to put that motor in a motorbike and maybe change the classification of the motorbike to a lower output. It was a 600cc um, petrol engine in it originally, um, but I want to put this electric motor in. Now it looks quite big, it looks quite meaty, the wires coming off it look like pretty good, so it looks like it'll do the job perfectly. So let's jump onto AliExpress and have a look what I'm talking about. Hoi! So here we go, we're on AliExpress website and we're on Siakosi's store. I don't know if you say it like that, that's the way I say it. <laughs> I don't know the exact pronunciation. Siakosi's and uh, they sell QS motors and QS motors are pretty good. So I'm looking at this motor beer and you can't really tell how big it is unless you see it compared to other ones. And if I click on this here, this was the original, uh, this was the one I was thinking about getting. It was a water-cooled or liquid-cooled motor. And if I scroll down, um, it says 4,000 watts, 7,500 max. But when you go down to the bottom by here, where it's got specifications, it does say um, rated power 7,500 watts and peak power 13.5 kilowatts. So that's not too bad. That's pretty good, isn't it? Um, so it says package dimension there, 34, 34, 33. Now, if you click on this one here and go down, it says 34, 34, 33. Now, it can't be that size because it's much bigger than the other one. So they haven't, because it, it, it says it's new. See, Pierce says new arrival. They haven't got the full specs on it yet. But uh, if we come down to the specs by here, look at the picture. It's got really beefy um, sort of the wiring coming out there. And if we look at the specifications, it says match it to a sort of 17 inch tire on the back, which is what I've got. And it says 8,000 watts rated power, peak power, 16 kilowatts. Now, I know the other smaller motors, people have put, I think something like 30, 28 kilowatts through them and they've been all right. I'm not going to go that far, but I'm just saying this motor can probably take more. And it says uh, rated torque 14.39, max torque 94 newton meters. Now that seems quite low, but it isn't it isn't quite low because the these motors here they come with a very small front uh, cog, and then you put it to a big cog at the back, and that changes the sort of torque at the back sprocket, if you know what I mean. Um, right, so that is that is that that is that is the size of that, and that's the one I'm thinking of getting for five hundred and forty-one pounds, and hundred and ninety-four pounds shipping. So this seven hundred and something odd quid, that, isn't it? Which is quite a lot of money, but I don't think it's bad for this size motor. I think it's a good price. <laughs> okay, then. So that's enough of me waffling. Um, I'll put a picture up by here of the video I seen. Um, of how big the motor is, you can get a good idea there. It's on YouTube. I'll put the name of the, the picture in the name there. You can have a look yourself. You can see how big it is when he puts his hands next to it. Anyway, um, that's enough of me going on and on. Um, I just want to say, uh, let me just grab this here a minute. Oh, 
that's a bit heavy that is actually i've got the bafang motor because obviously if you haven't watched any of my other videos i'm doing a fat uh e-bike and i'm going to put this bb shd motor in it i got it ready to go in now so i think my next video will be me putting this motor in the fat bike so if you want to look at that it'll be the next video coming up in a, in a couple of days or, or a week or two maybe i'm not quite sure but um anyway that's me uh looking at the motor that i would like to put into the uh electric e-bike not e-bike electric motorbike um from c c ecosis or qs motors if you're watching qs motors or c ecosis send me one i'll try it out for you <laughs> because uh, they're quite uh, they're quite expensive or even a little bit of a discount i wouldn't mind i doubt they'll watch this video but um uh i think that'd be a great motor to put into the electric motorbike so if you haven't looked at the electric motorbike videos go and have a look if you haven't looked at my e-bike videos go and have a look at that and if you like this video give it a like uh subscribe click the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Ho-hoi!